The third example, let's say we want to find the volume of the solid of revolution that we obtain by revolving the plane region bounded by x equal tangent of y, y equals 0 and x equal 1, about the line x equals 0. Now the line x equals 0 is the y-axis, so this time we consider rotation in the other direction, around um, a vertical line. But nevertheless, as usual, the first step is to sketch the plane region. So here are the curves x equal tangent of y and x equal 1. x equal 1, of course, is a vertical line. y equals 0 is the x-axis. And so the region that is bounded by these three curves is this one. And now we want to rotate it about the y-axis. Now if we rotate about the y-axis, we want to look at cross-sections by planes that are perpendicular to the axis of rotation. In other words, planes y equal constant. So that means that we are going to look at cross-section for y equal constant. We need to know what y value corresponds to this point of intersection so that we know what kind of y values we are going to use to integrate. It's easy to figure out because we are on the curve tangent y and look at the intersection with x equal 1 and in this first quadrant tangent y is 1 when y is pi over 4. In other words here the second coordinate of this point is pi over 4. Now for y between 0 and pi over 4, I'm going to look at the cross-section y equal constant, and that gives me a line segment between the two curves, but we're going to rotate about the y-axis. When we rotate it about the y-axis, we will rotate this line segment, it's going to generate again a washer, but this time this washer sits in a plane y equal constant, that would be an horizontal plane, perpendicular to the plane of the ball and of course um, for the sake of drawing this washer we have to tilt things and that's why it doesn't really look like a washer. Nevertheless we can calculate the inner and outer radius of this washer namely the inner radius for a fixed y corresponds to this length but since on the point on the curve x equal tangent y the x value corresponding to y is tangent y so that's going to be the inner radius. And on the other hand, the outer radius is just 1, because it's going to be the distance from the y-axis to the vertical line x equal 1. So that means that our cross-section is a washer with inner radius tangent y and outer radius 1. So the area of the cross-section as a function of y is pi multiplied by the square of the outer radius minus the square of the inner radius. And now the volume is simply the integral of that function over the interval 0 to pi over 4 because we've seen that this is the range of y values corresponding to the region that we're considering. So we get pi multiplied by the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of 1 minus ten tangent square y. We have seen in another example how to integrate tangent square. The trick was to remember that the derivative of tangent is secant squared, which you can also express as 1 plus tangent squared. So I can certainly integrate 1 plus tangent square, but if I write, my, if I subtract 1 plus tangent squared uh, instead of tangent squared, then I have to correct uh, what I have introduced, which is negative 1, so I have to add 1 and I get 2 minus 1 plus tangent squared. Now an antiderivative of 2 is 2y, and an antiderivative of 1 plus tangent squared is tangent y. I have to evaluate that between 0 and pi over 4, and multiply by pi. At pi over 4, I get 2 times pi over 4, that's pi over 2, minus tangent of pi over 4, which is 1. So I'm going to get pi over 2 minus 1, all this multiplied by pi, the value at 0 is 0, and therefore I get 1 half pi squared minus pi. One last example. This time we want to find the volume of the solid of revolution that is obtained by revolving the first quadrant plane region bounded on the left by x squared plus y squared equals 3, on the right by x equal root 3, and above by y equal root 3. We want to revolve this region about the line x equals 0, in other words, the y-axis. 
As usual, we need to sketch this region. So we draw the curve x squared plus y squared equals 3, which of course is a circle centered at the origin of radius root 3. And so the two line x equal root 3 and y equal root 3 are tangent to that circle. And the region that is bounded on the left by the circle on top by y equal root 3 and on the right by x equal root 3 is this region. And now we want to generate a solid of revolution by revolving this region about the y-axis. So, for each y from 0 to root 3, we consider the cross-section by a plane perpendicular to the axis of rotation, in other words, y equal constant. And so we obtain a line segment, which is the intersection of this line y equal constant with my region and we're going to rotate that about the y-axis resulting in a washer and all we need to know about this washer is its inner radius and outer radius the outer radius is easy to find here because the outer radius is always root 3 since this is simply the distance from the axis of rotation to the um, outer limit which is x equal root 3 the inner radius for a given y, um, the x coordinate of the point on the circle corresponding to this y, since we're on the curve of equation x squared plus y squared equals 3, if we solve for x, we get uh, plus or minus square root of 3 minus y squared. But of course, here, since we're in the first quadrant region, x is positive and we get square root of 3 minus y squared. In other words, the cross section by this plane y equal constant is a washer with inner radius root of 3 minus y squared and outer radius root 3. What that means is that the area of the cross section by y equal constant is given by pi square of the outer radius minus square of the inner radius now inside my parentheses, I have the square of root 3, which is 3. And the square of root of 3 minus y square is 3 minus y square. When I subtract that, I get minus 3 plus y square. The 3's cancel out. And my function a of y is simply pi multiplied by y square. The volume of the solid of revolution is not just the integral of this function over the range of y values uh, to consider, which in this case is from 0 to square root of 3. What we obtain is pi integral from 0 to root 3 of y square. non derivative of y square is y cube over 3. We evaluate that from 0 to root 3. Of course, the value at 0 is 0. At root 3, root 3 cubed is really root 3 squared, which is 3, that you multiply by root 3. So we get 3 root 3 over 3, the 3's cancel out, and we obtain pi root 3. Now turn to the next video to see an alternative method to calculate these volumes.